Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have a collective message. We're going to find out what we want you to hear. Please remember this minute resonate for everyone. So let's get straight into this and find out what we want you to know. Uh, you seem to be dealing with somebody that, it has to be their way, they seem to be very controlling, um, they feel like if things don't go their way, they will literally cut the people off, right, like this person, I'm hearing it's my way or the highway, oh yeah, this person, they don't want to change either, they seem to be very stubborn, okay, they seem to be, um, trying to control the situation, right, I also see this person, it's like they try to sugarcoat things in their own mind. They also don't like to hear things that don't agree with them, okay? Like this person, if they hear something that doesn't agree with them, they will ignore it, okay? And pretend that they never heard it. It's like this person doesn't want to see something, right? It's like they don't want to see the truth, okay? Even though they know the truth, they don't want to see the truth. This person seems to be very immature in their way of thinking. Not going to lie, they seem very immature because... They see the truth of a situation and they're pretending. This person is a little bit delusional, not going to lie. Whoever this is, they're staying stuck in this very stressful situation that is really causing them nothing but pain, right? They're staying stuck in this, right? And even though they can see the truth that this is going nowhere, this is stressful, this per person that they're dealing with seems to be a burden. It's like they're pretending, like they're literally, they're acting like no, this is happily ever after. They're acting like no, it's like they're ignoring the truth. This person is sugarcoating the truth, if that makes sense. I hope this is making sense, okay? I just think 303, by the way. It's like this person is lying to themselves, okay? This person seems to be, the truth seems to be that they're extremely unhappy, but they are sugarcoating it and pretending that they are happy, if that makes sense, okay? I do see um, this person seems to be getting signed to walk away from this stressful situation. I'm hearing tabby. Let me know if that resonates. Tabby, okay. They're getting signed to walk away from this dreadful situation, but they won't, okay. This is confusing, guys. I'm not going to lie because, again, um, they see the truth. It's not like they don't. They see the truth that whatever situation they're keeping themselves stuck in, and it could be like a relationship or something, it's nothing but stress and burden and it's weighing them down. But then it's like they're ignoring the truth and they're replacing the truth with a lie, if that makes sense, okay? They're like, no, 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 you know, I'm really, really, really happy here, okay? Um, I know this is going to resonate for somebody. Could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with a Taurus. This, this is somebody that really does not like hearing what they don't want to hear. Like, I mean, if 
they see something, you know, that triggered them, they're going to pretend they never seen it, right? They're going to pretend that that never happened. This person, they're acting happy in a situation that they're miserable in, okay? I do see this person... Okay, I, all right, I'm getting this. So it's like they're scared to be alone. So they're just staying stuck with someone and pretending that they're happy here, okay? But this person seems to not realise that spirit trying to show them the truth for a reason. I do see that they won't end something, okay? They keep pretending that they're happy when they know deep down that they're not. And they won't end something. The thing is, in the long run, right, this person is, it's like they're choosing the wrong person, they're choosing the wrong path, right? Spirit's really trying to show them this truth right now so they can move on and be happy, right? Because whoever they're with, they're weighing them down. person's lying to themselves, they're lying to everyone around them, they're not happy with this person that they're with, but they are pretending to be. Some of them may even be getting married to this person, or they're married to this person, um, even though it's like they don't want to be there, right? It's like they keep continuing on with this connection that they don't want, and they don't even know why, but again... This person, they don't want to see the truth. They know the truth, but they don't want to see it. Could be dealing with a Libra. This person, wow, okay. They seem to be very focused on you, okay? But the thing is, they're not showing you that. This person holding on to you while living this life that they are pretending to be happy in. This is like them, I'm hearing they're marrying the replacement. I am getting somebody could be marry, getting married, okay, and acting like they're really happy, but this person's nothing but a replacement, and yeah, whoever, this person that's really trying to control everything, they know that, right? They know that deep down, but again, they don't want to see it. This person really does not want to be alone, though. They also feel like they have no chance with you. They feel like, for some of you, they feel like that they ruined their chance with you, okay? But this person, they have never stopped thinking about you. You seem to be the centre of their thoughts, the centre of their life. They seem to bring you up a lot. And this person feels like you're the one I'm hearing, right? They really love everything about you. They feel like you stand out. You, And there's something spiritual about you. They love your spiritual side, but they feel like things didn't work out. And I do see that this person tried to replace you really quick because they didn't want to be alone. And now they realize that all they did was ruin the chance with you and they're continuously thinking about you, but still moving forward with this other person, acting like they're happy. Let me know if this is resonating for you guys. This person seems to be very angry as well, okay? There seems to be a lot of fight in the connection, okay? I do say um, to the public, they act like everything's great, but there's a lot of fight, there's a lot of... Um, it's like this karmic knows as well that they're just a replacement, just a rebound, because 
this person continuously brings you up, right? They continuously bring you up, even if it talks shit about you, they're still bringing you up. You also have this karmic comparing themselves to you. I do see this karmic um, watching you, comparing themselves to you because they're realising that their person is extremely interested and attracted to you. They also feel like they're never going to be like you in this person's eye, right? The karmic feels like they'll never be like you. They'll never be as important as you are, right, to this person. Yeah, this person feels like that they've... They've destroyed their chances with you, okay? Now they're just keeping themselves stuck. Um, in this unhappy situation, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Leo. Like this person keeping themselves stuck, yet they're watching everything that you do. This person may even be getting tarot readings on you because they're extremely unhappy. This person feels like they're supposed to be with you, okay, but they're, it's like they're choosing this other person that they know they should walk away from. I'm hearing a song, hold on. The song is called Day from Justin Bieber and the kid Leroy. Um, yes, I am getting that this person knows that they messed up, right? And they know that they constantly think about you. It's just like they're keeping themselves unhappy because they feel like being with this person is better than being alone and they feel like they have no chance with you. They ended this a long time ago. I'm hearing Eric. This person, it's like they had a chance with you and they messed it up, right? And now I see that they've watched you glow up. They feel like you're in a really good position. You're looking really good. They're actually watching you quite a lot and they're seeing that you have a lot of options, you seem to be doing really well, this person feels like you have it all, right? And they know they made the wrong choice, they, I'm hearing they chose the wrong person and now they're stuck in this very toxic codependent connection that they're not happy in, okay? They literally feel like they're going to be stuck in this forever and they're not changing their way. The person seems to be very stubborn, okay? They miss you and they have feelings for you, but this person will not tell you at all, right? They just decide to continue being unhappy. It's like they watch you, but they won't talk to you. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Gemini. This person seems to, they seem to be drinking a lot or trying to numb themselves somehow because they're constantly hurt. Um, they seem to be numb in general. It's like they turned down this true love, they made the wrong choice and now they just feel numb, they feel nothing. And especially to whoever's around them, this karmic energy. They feel nothing for this person at all. This person just here. So they're not alone, if that makes sense, right? Like, there's no feeling whatsoever. There's a lot of fight, though. Yeah, this person's really holding on to you. I, I feel like this person's never going to get over you, to be honest. Right? I'm hearing four years. It's been four years for some of you. 
this person's never going to get over you and they feel like they missed out on a major opportunity for some of you. They messed it up and they're never going to get over the fact that they messed that up. Right? I'm hearing not this lifetime. So they could have ruined this connection, okay? They feel a soul connection to you, by the way. They also feel like you're way too good for them, way out of their league, and this person seems to have a very low self-esteem. They've put you on the pedestal here as well, and even their karmic knows that, okay? Like, even their karmic knows that they can't compare to you in their heart, right? And I do think this karmic, I'm picturing somebody literally evil eyeing you Ooh, because i am getting that this person continuously brings you up continuously watches you on social media right and the karmic is like watching they can't stand you um because they feel second best to you right the thing is the karmic doesn't understand that you guys have this psychic connection, you guys have this soul connection that the karmic and this person they don't have, right? And I am getting that there is a soul connection here, right? With the high priestess and the four of one, it feels like twin flame, okay? Like there's this soul connection here that the karmic does not have, okay? And the karmic knows that. The karmic, I'm hearing the karmic feel basic. Like they feel literally basic compared to you. Like they feel like you have it all, right? Including this person's heart. Like this person doesn't really seem to be secretive. Like they seem to be attracted to you. And they're not scared to hide it. But they still are just staying stuck with this karmic. Because they feel like they're never going to be good enough for you. Right, but they still feel this very strong connection to you. I'm hearing I settled for less and I know it. Okay, oh my goodness. So, and again, you know, they had the chant, um, they had a chant here, four of one, they had a chant to for union in this lifetime, but I am getting that they chose a different path, right? But look at this guy. They seem to be getting like tarot readings on you. They seem to know about the connection, but they feel like you're way too good for them. So they're just staying stuck, right? It's like they're staying stuck in this thing that's not working out and they know it, but they don't want to end it because they don't want to be alone, okay? Yeah, they feel like they've ruined this in this lifetime. For some of you, they might have. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Pisces. Yeah, for some of you, this person did ruin things, and I am getting that this person may have broken your heart, but the thing is, you've had this major glow up. You seem to have opportunities everywhere. In the past, they broke your heart, and they realised that there's no going back from that, right? I'm hearing Caitlin. I'm hearing 444 as well. Yeah, I do see that this person did break your heart. But the thing is, it brought you abundant. It brought you something better, okay? This could have been, this could have been a relationship. Something better came along, right? Because this person hurt you in the past. And I do see a major glow up, and I do see a lot of options, right? You seem to be the center of attention. In the past, they may have acted like they didn't want this, okay? They may have pretended that they didn't feel the same way, but I do see this person being very nervous, right? They're nervous of your energy. They could have um, chosen this other person because they didn't feel nervous around this other person, they could feel more comfortable. Because this person really puts you on the pedestal here, right? But now this person's really regretting it. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Scorpio. This person's in their emotions at the moment. 
yeah, they really don't feel good enough for you, right? I mean, they feel like the page, they feel like they're the page of a cup and you're the queen of cup. Like, I do need them settling for less because they were like a little bit insecure and they didn't feel like they would even have a chance with you. But the thing is, this person, they sort of manipulated their way out of a beautiful divine connection, okay? So that's all I have for you. If it resonated, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!